Hey guys, it's The Real Reviews and today I got something awesome. So if you're looking to buy something for your kids for the backyard, this is it. This is huge. It's about 12 feet by 9 feet, but a perfect size, not a huge castle. This is the Little Tykes Jump and Slide Bouncer. This is an inflatable bouncer. Highly recommended. $309.99. 4.5 stars on Amazon. I'll throw the link below. I get nothing from it. Ages three to eight. We're going to do a high level unboxing. I'm going to plug it in, inflate it for you. Hopefully we have enough sunlight today. If, if we don't, I'll do it tomorrow. But let's take a look. Let's open it up. is let's take it out of the box right now see what we're dealing with it's not that heavy at all before i do that i can easily pick this up so right here as we can see some of the instruction manuals. Here is the full jump and slide bouncer instructions in different languages and a patch kit. So this does come with a patch kit, which is very nice. It comes with a lot of accessories and I'm gonna talk about it right now. So it does come with six stakes. The six stakes are for the bouncer itself. And it comes with four of the smaller stakes. That is for the blower. Comes with a storage bag right here. Very nice. And netted on bottom. So this looks like the bouncer right here. And the rest that's in the bag is the blower. And this is the blower that it comes with. Very solid unit right here. Has some good weight. And a GFCI plug, which is right here with a test and a reset button. All right, let me take this apart and show you how it has to look before you connect the blower and how to connect the blower. So as you can see from this layout, I laid it out flat. I did put the slide facing myself. On the back end, as you can see right there, that is the Velcro part where you can enter. You can also enter through the front slide part. The right, actually, the yellow, that is your inlet for the blower. We're gonna show you right now how to connect it. I did connect it to power. Let's look at the blower real quick and connect it super easy. This whole process should take you 10 minutes. So right here we have the blower. Let's take a quick look at it. I did plug it in. It's a GFCI plug and on the back of it right here, there's a red button, there's on and off. So if I turn it on, you can hear the fan starting to blow, but let's connect it to the bounce house and see how it looks. It does have um, a tie string, just like a shoe string on it, and make sure that this is completely straight. We're gonna go around the orange outlet, and if you can see on the yellow, there's actually little spots where you pull this through on both sides. There's two of them. And once I do that, and I have it straight, I'm going to put it over this. And tie it, make sure you just do a nice knot, uh, 
knot tie that you can take off at a later time so it holds. Make sure you pull it out the full length of the way and we're gonna start it up. So now that we're fully connected to power, our blower is connected to the inlet port and our trampoline is fully, or bouncy house, my daughter calls it the trampoline, but it's the little tykes uh, bounce and slide. So we're gonna turn it on and see how quick it expands. And after I'm done with that, that's when I'm gonna do the stakes. Right when I did turn it on, it's expanding fully. And we're gonna see the size and how fast it expands. Again, this is $309.99. It's actually on sale right now for about 39% off if you can catch the sale. But this is not your small trampoline full size as you can see right there as it expands when we're done we're going to put the stakes if you can see right there on the little red tags that are sticking out it looks like it's having a little bit of trouble there And I, found, and I found out the reason, and I'm going to show you in one second why it's not fully inflating. So, this is also a tips and tricks. And there you have it. Now it is fully reached this full level. Make sure that there's no kinks like you see right here. I'm gonna put it to the side. Make sure it's blowing straight and there's no air leaking or can leak out of it. All right, let's look at the full unit. So here is the full little tykes unit. As you can see, here's the blower. Here's the cord moving up towards the house. Here's our closed port for an extra pump. Here is the front of the unit. And what I love about this is that it has a shoe holder for the kids velcro entrance right there warning tag on the back little tykes logo on the side and it's a very decent size so if we look towards the side of my house we can definitely see the size sorry about the chair there my daughter just throws them around here is the front here is the slide and a look at the inside. It's got very nice mesh walls on all sides so the kids can't fall out except towards the slide part of it. So guys, thanks for watching the real reviews. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps uh, boost this video up. Please subscribe. I have a lot more videos to come and uh, hopefully you enjoyed my little tykes bouncer and slide. Thanks for watching.